Hello everyone, I am coming back with my new, new video. So in this video, I am going to discuss about biasing process of a PN assumption diode which is included in class 12 physics syllabus. But before starting, I want to say that since this process is a very huge one, that's why I am going to the, discuss this process by dividing it into some parts. Now let's get started. What is a biasing process? So biasing is basically a process with help of which we can produce current through a diode. That's why I'm writing here. It's a process with help of which we can produce current through any PN junction diode. Now what are the types of biasing? There are two types of biasing process. One is known as forward biasing and the second one is known as reverse biasing. I am going to discuss these two types of biasing uh, separately in my upcoming videos. But in this present video, I will discuss first about forward biasing process. Now, let's come to this diagram. I am drawing here the whole process which indicates forward biasing. Here, this whole setup simply indicates a PN junction diode. So, this is the P section of the diode and this is the N section of the diode. Now, how can we get the forward biasing? When the same types of a PN junction diode are connected with same type of an externally applied voltage, then there is a chance to get forward biasing. Now let me explain. When we connect P type, that means remember P means positive. When we connect the P type of a diode with positive terminal of an externally applied voltage and the N, that means negative, remember like that way, N type is connected with negative terminal of an externally applied voltage, then we can get a biasing process which is called forward biasing. That means at a PN junction diode or P type 2, P type 2 positive bully habiloba, zetia at a externally applied voltage ba battery positive terminal or logot connect kora hoi. Aro diode 2, same diode 2, N type, that means negative bully habiloba. In order to make our study easier, N type 2 externally applied battery to negative terminal or logot connect kora hoi. Tetia overall he diode tool. Is it to connection? It to come in ki forward biasing. Thika se? So, see here, this middle section of the whole diode represents what we have already knew about it. This dotted section represents depletion region. That means the junction area. Depletion region or the junction area of the diode. Okay? And we know that Throughout this junction area or depletion region, there is always an electric field which is known as barrier electric field. And this electric field is set up by the negatively charged acceptor atoms which are immobile and present near the junction inside p-type and positively charged donor atoms which are immobile also and present near the junction within N type. So P section to Vitrot move koribo noara zibila junction to kahot jibur negatively charged acceptor atom roitake aru N section or junction to kahot positively charged zibur donor atoms roitake yaha duita mili junction to nazadi ki set up kori electric field con and that is known as barrier electric field. 
आरो बैरियर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड होगा एरिया तो क्या मैं की बोली कौन डिप्लेशन रेशियन ओके वन मोर थिंग ए बैरियर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड कौन है जंक्शन टू माज़े डी डेट मेंस डिप्लेशन रेशियन अब क्या टा प्रोड्यूस करे बैरियर पोटेंशियल वी आल्सो नो दिस डेट ड्यू टू दिस बैरियर इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड when a PM junction diode is connected with the help of some external wires to an external battery or to an external voltage, which here I am taking as VEXT or VF. I am going to say what is VEXT and VF. Then this externally applied voltage is going to be reduce this barrier potential. That means PN junction diode ether P and M section of externally applied voltage to log out so the A door connection kora hoi that means diode to P type of battery positive terminal or log out diode to M section of battery negative terminal or log out jodi connection kori rakha hoi that here A is it to applied is it to applied external voltage jak moi VEXT is equal to VF bully consider kori so a externally applied voltage to a cut reduce koriba pare a depletion region to develop wa a depletion region to thoka zitu barrier potential he barrier potential to ki koriba pare reduce koriba pare and once this barrier potential gets reduced then the width of the depletion region also get reduced a barrier potential to zodi kami zai tetia depletion region to size to ki hoi zai or hoi zai and a z2 process he to ki buli kwa hoi z the externally applied voltage is supporting the the externally applied voltage is supporting the biasing process so whenever the externally applied voltage reduces barrier potential and thereby reducing the width of the depletion region then that whole process indicates that externally applied voltage is supporting the biasing process okay so this is the overall setup of the process known as forward biasing so in my next part of video i am going to discuss about working principle of the forward biasing process but before going to start that i want to explain what these terms are actually indicating here vf indicates forward voltage since this whole setup is known as forward biasing process that's why externally applied voltage is called forward voltage okay or externally applied voltage to it forward biasing process to support kori se karaneo he externally applied voltage to ki buli kwa hoi forward voltage aru vb2 hoi se barrier potential br means depletion region so in the next part of my video i am going to discuss about the working of the forward biasing